So the question is, has China once again taken the lead in robotics? This new video demonstration may actually convince you that China is currently leading the way in terms of fully autonomous humanoid robotics. And it is actually very surprising at how good this is, because I just didn't think we were that close to robots at this level. So let's just first take a look at their demo. And everything you're about to see in this demo is at one time speed with no manipulation, and it is fully autonomous. <laughs> So the demo that you saw there, the reason this is so impressive and the reason that a lot of people don't even believe that this is real is because what we're looking at is something that is extremely fast, extremely smooth, and it's fully autonomous, meaning that there is no teleoperation. And for those of you who are unaware, teleoperation just means that there is no human behind the machine controlling it with a VR headset, as we've seen in many other robotics demos. And some of the stuff that also makes this rather impressive was, of course, the large language model integration. Now, I'm going to speak first about this right here, because even as someone who pays attention to pretty much every AI and robotics development, this first demo here genuinely doesn't even seem real because of how quick this robot is performing. If you aren't familiar, this is a cup stacking game that many humans do play, and of course the goal is to stack this as fast as possible, which is pretty, pretty impressive for a robot that seems to be fully autonomous. Now this trick here, this is something that a lot of humans would struggle to do this. So this is definitely something that is rather impressive because it takes a certain technique to be able to pull the cloth from the glass like that. Now when we do get into this area right here, this is of course where things start to get even more interesting because we can see that there is of course a large language model integration. So the user FKS asks the AI system, what do you see? And then it clearly states that, I see an orange ping pong ball, a red car toy, a white Hello Kitty figurine, a pink notebook, two white containers, and a red pen and laptop. So it's clearly identified all of the items in the scene. 
And we can see here that this robotic system clearly has an onboard vision system, and it actually does look similar to the YOLO vision system, which is a vision system that can identify tons and tons of different things. And we can clearly see it managing to identify multiple different items. Now what's also interesting is that we do see that it states here that, how would you separate the items to tidy up the tap? And then it says, we need a container for the toys and a container for the writing utensils. And I think that whilst, yes, of course, that is quite obvious to humans because we've done this a million different times, it's something that is increasingly good to see in robots because it shows the level of development and a small level of reasoning and understanding when combined with all of these different AI systems working together with a true humanoid robot. So they also stated that this was done via imitation learning. So I'm not sure how many examples they've managed to get, how many human demonstrations, but I'm guessing that it probably was a bunch considering the rate of speed when this robot is active. And because these tasks don't seem that they're really half done, they do actually seem as if they're really, really well executed. And what's crazy about this is that we've seen a few robotics demos this year. And to be honest with you guys, this is by far the most impressive demo to date. But I'm guessing that it probably was a bunch considering the rate of speed when this robot is active. And because these tasks don't seem half done, they seem as if they're really, really well executed. And what's crazy about this is that we've seen a few robotics demos this year. And to be honest with you guys, this is by far the most impressive demo to date. And this is just based on what we've seen. And the craziest thing about this as well, and this is something that I've mentioned many times before, is that when looking at robotics demos, it's pretty surprising with what robots are simply able to do with this two-pronged approach because many individuals would state that humanoid robots, in order to function effectively, you need five fingers just like a human uses. But it's clear from many, many different robotics demos that that might not be the very best approach. Sometimes keeping things simple and smooth can truly work wonders for what you're trying to do. And taking a look at this, we can see that this is exactly the case with this level of robotics. Now, while some people might argue that with some robotics demos, the problem with this is that they are in, I guess you could say, controlled environments where objects are placed down, and of course things are done in a pre-programmed environment where they've gone through the demonstrations many times. But I have to be honest, doing something like this where you have a paper plane being thrown into a bin that is something that honestly for any robot to do along with the other tasks is very, very impressive. Now, another thing that I would like to find out about this robot is if this robot does have a moving base or if it does have any legs because while yes, we can see from the top of the robot, we can see that it does have two arms and a vision system hooked up to the back. In order for this robotic system to, you know, be useful in the future, we're going to have to see if this thing can move around. Now, I've got to be completely honest with you guys. This robot definitely took me completely by surprise due to the fluidity, the speed, and not only that, the craziest thing about this demo was that there were many several different examples of what this robot could do. It wasn't just one or two tasks, but there were several instances of it being able to do complicated and intricate tasks that even some humans might actually find pretty difficult. Now, two things that I'm looking forward to from this robot are, number one, with this robot being combined with an actual LLM system, one thing that I would like to see in the future is of course, this robot potentially using that LLM to verbally speak with commands and have humans interact with it on a verbal basis. Because currently, it seems that it was just a chat interface from the audio clip. It didn't seem as if there was any actual human to robot integration. It just seemed as if someone typed it in and then the robot completed the task based on that. So that is what I would like to see. And then another thing, of course, another thing that I would like to see is this robot potentially moving around in the environment. Because one thing that robots do struggle with is being in different environments. And when the environment is reset, it becomes harder to identify objects and move objects to the correct location. So those are two things that I think would be more impressive. So, in the end of today's video, I'd say that Astribot shows us now that China is not playing games when it comes to humanoid robotics, and I think we do have to give credit where credit's due, because this is clearly an area where China is investing a lot more than the US. And, with that being said, let me know what you think about Astribot in the comments below.